It is time now for the PHL New News Report for this Thursday afternoon, March 19th, 2015. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. I get 12 new news lines here. Top story at noontime here is the Islamic State claimed was responsible Thursday for an attack on a proper museum in Tunisia that left 23 people a day dead earlier, according to the audio recording. Three comments by the newly elected Israeli Prime Minister left Team Obama few officials in Washington State's stance on Palestinian statehood is forced an America reassessment. In Washington, House Republicans sought to get their sweeping budget resolution back on the track Thursday after late night block saw the measure in the Budget Committee. Students at the University of Virginia demand justice for a student who was injured during an arrest and appears in a photo with a bloody face that is being held down by an officer. Labor leader Ed Milbrand said that the budget will be devastating for the funding that the Welsh government receives it from the UK Treasury. In Aden, a unified warplane attacked the presidential palace in Aden on Thursday after rifle forces fought the worst clashes in years in Yemen, second city, and official and residents said in a sharp escalation of the country's months long. Ranjiru, the gunman who allegedly cut a bloody swath out of Phoenix suburb of Mesa, Arizona, should end six. People in killing one is the next convict who had most recently spent more than seven years in prison for attempt assault police announced on Wednesday. While discussing money and politics on Wednesday, President Obama broke a topic normally confident to uh, economic circles of law requiring people to vote. In New York, European shares rose on Thursday, but a day after the Federal Reserve indicated there was no rush to hike the United States interest rates, but stock slipped on Wall Street while crude oil retreated and the dollar rebound of first of the previous day. In Minneapolis, Target Corporation is poised to settle a class action lawsuit filed. Following a retailer's massive data breach in 2013, court documents filed Wednesday in Minnesota show. Fewer than 300,000 Americans filed applications for unemployment benefits for a second week signaling that the labor market remains resilient even as the economy shows signs of slowing. After 28 years on the air, Bold and Be Beautiful just aired its most generally unexpected twist yet. On Wednesday's episode, it is revealed that Maya Avant, who has been played by Carla Mosley on the soap for two years, is transgender. Marvin Gaye's children have written an open letter to clarify many issues about their recent lawsuit against Robin Fick and Farrell Williams who had not even delve into what they believed their father would be, have said were called in blurred line similarities in 1977. In Copenhagen, Denmark, a Czech tourist suffered minor injuries when a polar bear attacked the tent he was sleeping in on a remote archipelago logo in the Arctic of Svalbard, Norwegian authorities said Thursday. An enormous crocodile ancestor with plate-like teeth Walked in two legs and was at the very top of the North America's food chain 231 million years ago, according to a new study. In London, the tobacco industry makes about $7,000 for each of the more than 6 million people who die each year from smoking-related illness at the health campaign group World Lung Foundation said on Thursday. A new study discovered a mechanism by which severe malaria kills children. Researchers are pinning it out on brain swelling in the standard study that changes the impact of the disease today, but scientists are hopeful that promise and treatments will come fast. Okay, a look at the stock market report here. 12.03 here. Dow 1794.72, down 121.47. SP 500, 2087.79, down 11.71. NASDAQ 49, 89.51, up 6.68. European markets here. DAX 11.859.52, down 63.25. FTSE 6949.31, up 4.11. CAC 40.5021.01, down 12.41. Asian markets here. Nikkei 19476.56 down 67.92. Shanghai 2385.82.75 up 5.44. HSI 24468.89 up 348.81. Oil markets here 43.71 down 95 cents. Brent 54.74 down 1.17. Natural gas 2.824 down 96,000 points. Gold markets 1169.70 up 18.40 cents. Silver 16.135 up 594,000 points. And in the bonds. Nope, in the copper, 2.6595, up 89,000 points. In the bonds, U.S. 10 unit, 1.9685%, up 2,000 points. And German 10 unit, 0.192%, down 3,000 points. And Germany's 10 unit, 0.326%, down 3,000 points. 
FX bonds is European US dollar 1.0628 down 237,000 points. US dollar Japanese yen 120.90 up 81 cents and Great Britain pound US dollar 1.4715 down 261,000 points. Okay, look at the commodities there. Wheat 508 and a half down two dollars and a quarter. Soybean 96 and a quarter down four and three quarters. Corn 371 and a quarter down three and a half. Sugar twelve dollars fifty eight cents down fifteen cents. Coffee one forty three point fifty five up three and a half. Cotton six three points up fifty two cents. Ref rice ten point ninety down one four five thousand point and cocoa two thousand and seven sixteen down forty two cents. All right. Looking at the New England incident alerts here at uh, 12.05. Nope. Okay. Let's move it on to the sports. The 2015 NCAA men's basketball tournament will get underway right now. If he's going down, he's taking it with him as embattled Syracuse coach Jim Bayam stepped in front of a reduced number of microphones Thursday morning for a conveniently timed press conference to respond to his nine game suspension. Jacques Lemay, who had the trust of misfortune of going to the Stanley Cup champion to play off absentee, wants to discover Shock experience that as playoff perks anything but guaranteed for Boston Bruins and the Los Angeles Kings. And speaking of the Bruins, they'll be taking on the Yara Senators tonight up in Ottawa. At 7.30 p.m. Peter Chell News Times 12.06. It's time now for a Trevor Report here on this Thursday afternoon here. And it shows smooth sand and highways, byways in New England here. And a few slowdowns here. One of them is up on Southeast Expressway and it's up on side from Mass Avenue down through Southampton Street. So expect a few delays around that area here. <laughs> 128 on the Southbound side a little slow from 129. Redden all the way out to Route 93 in Redden here. 129 on the Northbound side a little slow from the Wakefield Linfield stretch. On 120 on the northbound side, the next and after Route 20 in Walt Dam here. Mass back in the eastbound side. It's backed up from the BU Boston University all the way up to the Purdue Tunnel to do some road work in that area on the Mass Pike on the westbound side here. Now you find the southbound side again, accident on Route 10 in Cranston, so expect a few delays. Route 195 in the eastbound side, expect up for Route 240 in. Very been down for many places, so expect a few delays here on this Thursday afternoon and down in Route 3 in the southbound side. We got a, some slow traffic on Route 3 in the southbound side through Duxbury, so expect some delays along Route 3 in Duxbury. And a look at what is going on here on the T here. Civil on SL5 experience and minor delays due to traffic. On the commuter rail. Everything's good to go here. And the ferry service is more on fine. Peter Channel News on 1208. It's time now for a weather report here. Our current conditions here in North Massachusetts at 1208 p.m. 29 degrees. The temperature with first class. Scribble the D 27%. With speed northwest about 14 gusts of 29 miles per hour. Barometer 30.21 inches. 2.1 below. And invisibly at 10 miles. And wind chill about. 18 degrees. Okay, let us take a look at our current conditions around the region here. It is 25 degrees out in Boston. It's 25 in Fitchburg, 22 in Bedford, 25 in Beverly. It's 22 in Gloucester, 24 in Lawrence, 22 in Worcester and Surbridge and Webster, 27 in Milford, 26 in Norway, 27 in Taunton, 27 in New Bedford. It's 27 out in Plymouth and Falmouth and Province Sand, 26 in Chatham, 27 in Nantucket, 24 in Cape Cod Bay, 20 in Moffat's Vineyard. It's 29 in Block Garden, West 3, 27 in Providence, 25 in Smithfield, it's 35 in New York City, 33 in the Nislip, 30 in Montauk, 32 in Bridgeport, 29 in New Haven, it's 28 out in Danbury, 27 in Waterbury, 30 in Meriden, 29 in Winslow, in Hartford, Connecticut, 20 in Springfield, Massachusetts, 29 in 
Greenfield, Massachusetts, 23 in Airfall, Massachusetts, 23 in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, and North Adams, Massachusetts, 29 in Albany, New York, it's 30 in Central Springs, 23 in Bainton, Vermont, it's 19 in Rutland and Radford, Vermont, it's 22 in Lebanon, New York, Hampshire, 23 in Keene, Hampshire, 20 in Jefferson, Hampshire, 19 in La Quinn, Hampshire, 22 in Concord, Hampshire, 23 in Manchester, Hampshire, 26 in National Hampshire, 26 in Pulse, New Hampshire, and 24 up in Portland, Maine. Near. Okay, service map shows a cold front from set North Central Alberta Dame for Saskatchewan, range with a station front from North Central Manitoba and up to Western Ontario, and a station front from South, from the South, from Southeastern California, down for Southern Nevada, down to the Southwest, merging with a warm front down for Texas, down for Central Louisiana, merging with a cold front from Eastern Louisiana, down for Mississippi, merging with a warm front down for Alabama, merging with a cold front from Western Palin, Florida, and merging with a station front down for South Central Florida, not to say. We got low pressure in South Central Florida, South Central New Mexico, and South Central portions of California and, and down in the Dakota. There. Well, we got high pressure in Eastern Ontario and in the Gulf of Mexico and Eastern to portions of Idaho. 34 degrees out of Pittsburgh, 45 Washington, D.C., 57 out in Atlanta, Georgia, 73 in Miami, Fort It's 75 in New Orleans, Louisiana, 71 in Brandsville, Texas, 67 in Dallas, Texas, 44 in St. Louis, 37 in Kansas City, Missouri, 39 in Omaha, Nebraska. 41 in Chicago, Illinois. 38 in Minneapolis, St. Paul. 41 in Billings, Montana. 36 in Great Falls, Montana. And in Salt Lake City, Utah. 37 out in Denver, Colorado. It's 42 out in Albuquerque, New Mexico. 61 in Phoenix, Arizona. 59 in Los Angeles. 51 in San Francisco. And 48 out in Seattle, Washington. Here. Okay, take a look at our. Radar situation shows some spotty snow showers around east central portions of Quebec, central and east central portions of Nova Scotia, and some spotty snow showers west central and southeastern portions of Newfoundland. There, sleeting and snowing around south central West Virginia, around west central portions of Virginia, but otherwise, showers and a lot of sh showers from central and eastern Kentucky down for eastern Tennessee, stretching out of western Virginia, down for the Carolinas, and stretching in northern and eastern and southern portions of Georgia, down for southeastern portions of Alabama now for West Central and, and Central Florida Panhandle here. And some spotty rain showers by West Central portions of Indiana now for West Central portions of Illinois, stretching down I-70 quarter north of St. Louis, stretching it down for Kansas City, and stretching it down for seven western portions of Kansas, down for eastern portion of Colorado, down for the Oakland Panhandle, down for Oklahoma, and stretching the northeastern portions of Texas. Some spotty rain showers north of Houston, and some spotty rain showers in Southeastern California down for Central Arc, Arizona down for New Mexico down for Western Texas here, and North Central portions of Mexico here, and some spotty rain showers on the North Central and the Northwestern portions of Wisconsin down for Central and Northwestern portions of Minnesota, and some snow and sleet down for Northwestern portions of Minnesota down for Northwestern portions of Wisconsin, snow and sleet and rain showers in East Central portions of North Dakota down for Northwestern portions of Minnesota here, snow and the Central portions of Colorado from South Denver down for Colorado Springs here. And some spotty rain shots off the western Washington coast and down for southwestern portion of British Columbia. Some sleet and snow mixed with around southwestern British Columbia around the Vancouver area. Some spotty rain shots in northwestern Washington, northeastern portions of Washington State. And some snow sleet and rain shots central and southeastern portions of British Columbia. And some rain sleet shots west of Edmonton and snow shots in west central portions of Alberta. Snow and rain. West Central portions of Manitoba here. And take a look at the satellite loop. Shows a line across from Virginia and Milan State. Stretching in the Great Lakes and stretching in the Central Plains. And covering much of Arizona and Mexico. And down for western portions of Texas. Down for central portions of Mexico here. Line of coming from the Carolinas. Down for Georgia. Down for northern portions of Florida. And... Line of from Western, Northwestern California, down for Western Oregon, down for British Columbia, down for up in the Alberta, down for Western portions of Washington State, and cloud switch in Western Saskatchewan, down for Southwestern portions of Alberta. Here. All right, let's take a look at our forecast discussion around the country here. And it shows showers and thunderstorms expected across the southern states and rain and late season snow for the parts of the Midlantic in the northeast and another strong cold front reaching for the north plains by Friday. The general flow pattern across the country over the next few days should be mainly zonal across the southern half and then a puffy pattern across 
The North, one of the interesting things during the next forecast period would be a development surface flow that develops near the Midland coast with just enough cold air available. A late season snowfall is becoming likely from eastern Ohio to the south of New England, including many of the major cities along the I-95 border. Most of the accumulation should occur in grassy and forested surfaces here. Wayne is expected a preservation type problem in the south across much of the Virginia and West Virginia. Across the southern tier of the country, an upper level low across northwest Mexico, along with its atmospheric instability across the southwest states, and will generate afternoon and evening thunderstorms late Thursday. The system affects Pacific moisture loft across Mexico and over the southern plains with a return flow off the Gulf of Mexico closer to the surface, and this pattern leads to a broader than Bay of showers and storms are stretching from the desert southwest of the Gulf Coast states across the northern United States. A reinforcement surge of cold air arrives on Friday for the northern plains and the upper Midwest beyond a strong cold front. Here, all right, forecast discussion around the region here. Continue blustering cold today, but wind stable and as high pressure builds and from the west, while offshore low pressure will be bringing a quick swath of wet snow from communities mainly south of the Massachusetts Turpac Lake Friday to Friday night. A strong cold front across the region Saturday evening, bringing a dry but unseasonably cold weather for Sunday and early next week. Near term until 6 p.m. this evening, a 10 a.m. update. Overall trend in the forecast remains on track for today. Northwest flow will continue to be because we the day as mixing continues up to 8.50 million bars. Low level jet between 20 and 30 knots will linger over the northeast half of the region and will be strong and gusts. The color temperatures are slowly on the rebound and should top off at or slightly above yesterday's high temperatures. Here, okay, let us take a look at. These weather notes here. All right. It'll be a breezy and chilly afternoon today. Winds will be in tonight, but still be cold. And be another chilly start tomorrow. Water temperature 36 degrees. Wind chill readings. Single digit scenes right now. The latest on this one, I'm expecting snow will be arriving in eastern Massachusetts around about 7.30 p.m. tomorrow night. It'll be a mild to dry Sunday, except mild to dry Saturday. Before Sunday and Monday, we'll see chilly temperatures and moderate temperatures on Tuesday. After the snowfall, I'm expecting 1 to 3 inches of southern New England air, 3 to 5 inches along coastal and western portions of Connecticut, down to southwest of Berkshire's of Massachusetts here. And today's highs, we're going to experience today's highs, mainly in the 30s for the southern New England and then down for New York City, around 40 degrees. In the upper 20s, up in northern New England and the western Berkshires of Massachusetts and northwestern Connecticut here. Day one today and tonight, has a weather and not expect the time. Day two for seven, Friday for Wednesday. Friday and Saturday, light snow will spread across the region towards the latter half of Friday into the Friday evening. An accumulation of around two to three inches of forecast for locally higher amounts, making for the potential of advisory level snows. Forecast uncertainty, making for modern covenants forecast at the time. And slick and slippery conditions are expected to develop for the afternoon and evening commute, and along with visibility, it's down to a half mile or less of times here. Okay, let's take a look at a seven day forecast goals like this. For this afternoon, Science Guys have about 35 degrees. Northwest from about 14 miles per gust high is 25 miles per hour. For that, also because it's low about 14 degrees. Northwest from about 6 miles to come and coming in the evening here. Friday, a chance of snow may after 1 p.m. Increase gust high about 34 degrees. Slight of variable wind, chance of pressure is 40%. New snow conventional less than half an inch possible. Friday, night, snow that may before 10 p.m. Class guys with low about 21 degrees. Come in, become chance of pressure is 70%. No stair commercial is 1 and 2 inches possible. Saturday, just slight chance of rain and snow before noon, and a slight chance of rain between noon and 1 p.m. Most of Costco high about 44 degrees. Common wind coming south around 5 miles by the afternoon. Channel temperature 20%. Saturday night, Park Costco low about 26 degrees. Sunday, mostly sunny, most of Costco high about 36, low about 16 degrees. For Monday, Saturday, the Park Costco high about 36, low about 19 degrees. For Tuesday, most of Sunday, Park Costco high about 41, low about 24 degrees. And for Wednesday, Monday, most of the sky about 46 degrees. Peter is weather for today. A breezy and a chilly afternoon attack. Peter say, have a good afternoon. I'll see you at 4 o'clock here. Have a good afternoon, everybody. With a good pass at you here.